Hello folks, Bob Warfield here from CNC Cookbook with another installment of G-Wizard University. Today we're going to go over the conversational CNC radius wizard for lathes in our G-Wizard editor software, which is what you're looking at here. First thing is, what is conversational CNC and why would you use it? The idea is to make it quick and easy to produce G-code for simple tasks quicker and easier than having to do a CAD drawing and run your CAM software. Instead, you just make a few question, you just answer a few questions in the conversational wizard and it'll generate the code right away. Conversational CNC makes it super fast and easy to do simple parts just like you would do if you were manual machining. And that's the thing. If you just need to do something really simple, why go through all the trouble of CAD CAM? We're not here to replace CAD CAM, but there are so many simple parts that get made in most shops uh, that you can save a lot of time with conversational CNC. So let's take a look at the radius wizard. You access the conversational CNC wizards by clicking the wizard button here. And you see you've got both tabs and a pictorial menu for selecting the different wizards. Uh, the radius wizard is part of the camphor radius tool. Okay, so let's select radius, and here's what a typical wizard looks like. You've got a form here, you just fill it out left to right, top to bottom until you have all the values taken care of, and click the insert button, and boom, you've got G-code. So let's fill in the blanks. So the radius of uh, your radius is just the difference between the Z-start and the Z-end. Let's just leave it at a quarter of an inch. Uh, that'll be fine. Um, your radius can be either convex or concave. We depicted a concave, but you could switch it to convex and it would curve inwardly if you prefer, if you need that kind of a radius. Um, your X over here is going to be your finished diameter uh, for the top of the radius, so it's one inch currently. Um, the top bar has a work offset, a rapid 2 XZ, a roughing tool, a finish tool, and the coolant. Uh, so let's get some values in here. We want to make sure we don't wrap it into the workpiece. So I like to keep about a tenth of an inch of uh, uh, difference here. right? So we'll go with 1.1 and 0.1. Um, we've got roughing and finishing depths of cut. We've got feeds and speeds. I'm just going to leave all of that uh, set to the defaults. Uh, it's easy to set it up and you can see pretty much what's going on here. Uh, so we're not going to mess with that. And that's really all you have to do. You click the insert button now. Okay, code is generated. And you can see from the back plot it's going to take a series of passes to make the radius um, culminating in this final finish pass. There's uh, well uh, documented, well commented code so you can tell what's going on. All the parameters you entered are here in a block at the top. Uh, you've got a safe block here. Uh, you've got tool changes, feeds and speeds are set up. Uh, ignore these errors, that's just because I didn't bother to put in any uh, surface speeds so the spindle's not spinning. Uh, it's just one more thing that uh, G-Wizard checks for you. Uh, you've got your roughing passes and you've got your finish passes. And that's all there is to it. We made a radius just that quick and easy. So thanks very much for watching and we hope you'll give the, wiz the radius wizard a try sometime. Uh, you can get a free 30-day trial of G-Wizard Editor. Just go to our site, www.cncookbook.com. Uh, the conversational CNC is included with the G-Wizard Editor and G-Code Simulator free of charge. Thanks very much.